felt uh, that you were invited, you know, you could become part of this, you know, that I, that's why I figured, you know, I could do it. I felt the gathering, you know. Because we look out for each other, and we've done that from day one. We've, we had to, you know, uh, the way we came up, living in the Lower East Side, in squats or in really bad areas where it was drug infested, we were living among criminals, rapists, you know, child molesters and just horrible people, drug addicts. We had to become a tribe and we, and we became that tribe and we looked out for each other, brother and sister, you know, like, like they did, the cavemen did, like, like people that, you know, like the, 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 the you know, the Vikings did, you know, you look out for your clan, your tribe, and that's, and that's still our mentality. We look out for each other. I mean, yeah, it's, you know, because it's a state of mind, you know what I mean? Just like it's an attitude, you know? Just as far as like, just, just like I was even saying how like, you know, it's like, an, it's like an attitude, like it's, a band needs to connect with the crowd. And that's a really important thing because that's what always, I loved about hardcore was just that, that connection with the band that like, they don't make you feel like, like we're part of the act almost, which is what I, it's like, it's, it's a two way thing. You know, the band and the crowd together is together is what makes it so great. So I think like the band has to really connect with the crowd, you know, and they have to speak out, you know, and obviously like everyone, every band has stands for a little bit something different, you know what I mean? But like, that's the most important part of hardcore is like the fact that together we make the show together. You know what I mean? It's not like a band up there putting on an act, you know what I mean? Putting on a show. Like a hardcore show is the connection with the audience. You know, a lot of that might have to do with the fact that like we kind of all grew up with each other. Because <laughs> I, I, you know, I met a lot of people in hardcore when I was in, when I was just still in high school. I was, you know, 15, 16 years old. And um, I was already hanging out with like Craig Zatari from, from Cichlidol. And um, and we were both metalheads, <laughs> and and Armand from Sigrid All, he you know he was kind of a metalhead. Lou, Pete, <laughs> we're all from Queens, so um, so we met each other through through mutual friends and whatnot, and started jamming and what whatnot. Started started learning our instrument at the time, you know, and then just you know growing up, getting into you know, see metal shows and, and and hardcore shows, and that's how we all we all just like kind of just grew into it because we all knew each other back then. And that's what pulled me in, which I loved it so much. You know, it just makes you know the band making you feel as much as a part of the show as they are. You know, it's just like and connecting with that band. You know, that's that's what's important. You know, that's what. Um, and that's what I think we do. We, we, we connect with the people, you know what I mean? Like, if you go to our show, you'll see Roger out there, especially Stigma, out there talking and hanging out with everybody, you know what I mean? He welcomes everybody, and that's what, that's, that's what it's about, you know what I mean? Brings, bringing the people together. Because it's, it's real. Uh, I've, I've been part of this thing now for 30, 35 years. Uh, I, I think that you know, people who are attracted to this community, this, this type of music, uh, they're not normal people. It's not for normal people. It never was and never will be. You have to have a screw loose to, uh, to be you know, attracted to this in the first place. If you're somebody like me, almost 50 years old, and you're still doing it, you have to have more than one screw loose. So I think, I think that's, that's why, and that's, <laughs> that's why it's a tight-knit community. Hardcore is very down to earth, you know what I mean? It's cut and dry, you know what I mean? And you have to be a certain type of person to be into this music. That's why I feel like, you know, the people that are into this are, you know, in, they, they got into it because they, that's where they feel welcome, you know what I mean? So like, I think that's why it's such a close brotherhood and sisterhood thing, you know? It's like, they go there because they feel comfortable there, and a lot of these people don't feel comfortable in the outside world, but when they come, you know, the music gives them like a place to be, you know what I mean? So that's, that's how I always look at it as.
You know, I don't know what it is, even when I was a punk rocker, if I'd be on the train, like going from uptown to downtown or whatever, Brooklyn to New York or wherever the fuck I was going, and I see another punk or skinhead on the train, I just gravitate to them. You know, I'll just go over and say, yo, what's up? Like, just like that, and bang, just like that. It's a thing that, I don't know what it is, it's just a thing. Tattoos, the way you dress, you know, see a man ball shirt, you know. You know right off the bat. You know right away, I was right to show, this guy had to be at one of the shows, you know. You know, you, you play your first show and then you meet another band and then there, there's, an, there's another set of friends that, that you meet. And you go to another show and then you, 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 you meet other people and there's more people that you know and then you just accumulate like friends and, and it becomes a community because as we all you know know each other, we grow up with each other, we see each other every weekend. It's like there's no rules. I mean there used to be. I remember Ian McKay saying don't drink, don't smoke, don't fucking. Now those are the original straight edge rules, but there's a lot more rules to that now. But it's to me it's just looking in the mirror and and being genuine and being truthful, being honest. Of course, you, it's part of, there's a scene, there's a movement, but being genuine and honest to yourself as being a part of something, you know, like, oh, this feels good, these are my brothers and my friends, and it just feels real, it feels great, that's hardcore to me, you know?